If I were to explain the 407 to somebody that doesn't have an aviation background, I just talk about the shiny things. It's amazing, it's fast, it can carry a lot of weight, everything about it is solid. It's a much more agile, much more maneuverable aircraft. Obviously it's a lot faster in the EMS world, that's all we want is speed. What gets me there to help the patient the fastest? And the 407 obviously is going to outperform. We've got other models and other aircraft that float around, but it seems like the 407 is always right there at the top, in my opinion. As far as reliability, it's still newer. There's a lot more electronics and avionics and G-Wiz equipment on there. What's cool about the 407 GXI, as far as ease of use and capabilities, is the, the first thing I tell somebody is the startup procedure. In the GXI, you have the luxury of setting the aircraft and then turning on the start switch, and then it automatically performs a function on its own. So it, it's got the computers that can handle that workload and does it safely and reliably every single time. It's an all-glass cockpit in the GXI. Talking about the moving map, if a call came in, three or four clicks, I can have a waypoint in and start navigating directly to it. So it's a real smooth, fast, efficient process. In the GXI, we've got the G1000 glass panel. If you're coming in and you have your moving map up, and you start to pull on that power and it starts to reach any kind of limit, that screen will switch to your engine page and it'll show you, hey, you're getting close on this. It doesn't matter what you have up, whether you're in the functions, you know, aux page, waypoint page, whatever it is, it's automatically gonna revert back to the engine and say, hey, if you're getting close to a limit, you may consider making a change or doing something different. You've got your weight balance page in there. You can plug your numbers into that G1000. It calculates it, it shows you on your graph exactly where you'll be in, during the entire range of flight. You can hit a button that'll tell you how much fuel you're going to land with. You can see exactly what you have for your next leg of planning, and that thing will take off as long as you stay there all the time. The stories that I was referencing, why I was glad I was in the 407 to be landing on a rooftop hat when the winds were a little bit higher. It was 25 knots, and um, I told the crew, I'm going to make an attempt, I'm going to make an approach. If it looks good, we'll land. If it doesn't, I'll go around. And the 407, it was it handled just fine. No matter where I was, where my power setting was, I had a, a large margin to continue the approach and land on the rooftop. Otherwise, we would have to go back, land you know, 20 miles away at an airport. So my job is to get everybody home safely at the end of the day. So you want a reliable vehicle to conduct the business that you're trying to do. And that's what Bell offers.